Today's cocktail gives you strong tiki flavors without actually being a tiki cocktail. My name is David Edwards and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a faux hammer. Now this cocktail was created by a TikToker named The Thirsty Whale and it's his own personal creation with a split base, meaning there's two different spirits as the base. And it is a shaken cocktail, so make sure you grab your shaking vessel. But the first thing we're going to do is grab ourselves a knife and a lime, because what you want to do is you just want to cut this in half. And then what we will do is squeeze out and measure three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils and pour that into the glass. And since my lime juice got a little bit excited and some of it tried to jump out of the glass, we're gonna say we're off to a great start. Having said that, we need a little bit of Angostura bitters and we're going to do a total of three dashes. Once you've added your bitters, you're going to add a saline solution. Now, having said that, this type of solution is 20% salt to 80% water, which is twice the salt content of a standard saline solution. And for this, we're going to use a total of two to four drops. And the reason we're adding a saline solution is it helps balance out the cocktail. So the salt will actually brighten some of the flavors and it'll strip out some of the bitterness. But our next ingredient is a homemade pineapple syrup. Now this is just pineapple juice and sugar in equal parts and you cook it up till it's slightly clear. And we're going to use a total of one ounce or 30 milliliters. Your next ingredient is going to be a sweet vermouth. Now I'm using some Martini Rossi, but with any sweet vermouth, you have to make sure that once you've opened it, you actually refrigerate it to help cut down on any oxidization. But we'll use the same amount of one ounce or 30 milliliters. This is also where things start to get interesting because as I said earlier, this is a split base cocktail and we're splitting the base between bourbon and rum. Now both of these need to be at least 50% or 100% ABV. In this case, I'm using Four Roses Single Barrel. This is a 50% cocktail. Uh, and this is where you're gonna really see some strong flavors come out, but they are going to balance nicely. So we'll use the same of one ounce or 30 milliliters. And our next ingredient, of course, is rum. In this case, we're using Smith & Cross Jamaican rum. It's 57% ABV or 114 proof. And this is actually the rum that uh, the Thirsty Whale actually suggests, which is fantastic because sometimes it's hard to always get the type of uh, spirit that you'll see in a video or in a recipe. And we'll use the same one ounce or 30 mils. Once you've added all of your spirits and all of your other ingredients, we're going to shake this with some ice. You wanna fill the glass up most of the way. Uh, use solid cube dice, don't use anything crushed. Make sure it's actually gonna sit in the glass. But having said that, give it a good smack and shake it with a smile. All right, so you wanna make sure that you actually shake this for a good 10 to 12 seconds, shake it hard and shake it so you get this nice frost line on here. That means you get the correct temperature and the correct dilution. Now this cocktail is suggested to be served into a nice coupe glass and with at least one good size cube of ice. Now, if your coupe glass is not deep enough for a chunk of ice, then he suggests that you actually pour this into a rocks glass over some fresh ice. And we are going to fine strain this to keep out any chunks of ice. Oh, that is tight. You can definitely tell the coop that the Thirsty uh, Whale uses is just a little bit bigger than this one because I have a little bit left in there. Now the garnish for this is just some freshly grated nutmeg over the top. This does look really good and it has a nice unique color. Let's give it a try. But before we try that, this video was sponsored by the Vector Bar Mixology app for the iPhone. Hmm. Really good, slightly sweet. The nutmeg just gives you that little bit and you can just faintly get a little bit of the salinity in this cocktail. It's really well balanced. I really like it. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look after the recipe card right up here.